G'day guys, how you going? Beer Healer here, welcome to the exciting world of the Beer Healer's day job. I'm hanging out for beer o'clock this afternoon because I'm heading down to the Whaler in Hobart to get a taste of the new Ella Pale Ale from Owen Johnson and his new Hop Troll Beer Company. So yeah, I managed to sneak out of work a little bit early this afternoon uh, to try and get down here to the Whaler in Hobart to uh, get sorted out for this uh, new beer trial. Now I'm pretty excited to try this beer, it's from uh, Owen Johnson. Now if you don't know Owen, he uh, was previously the head brewer of Moo Brew. He now works for Hot Products Australia. Uh, Moo Brew of course was uh, originally brewed on the site of what is now Mona, the Museum of Old and New Art here in um, Hobart. And uh, Owen was a massive part of the, the craft brewing scene in Tasmania for a long time before taking his job at Hot Products. Now he's jumping back in, uh, ready to show us what hops can do in a beer. It's 
finish is quite dry, but the amount of hop oil in it sort of really carries that talent. Uh, you know, if I was unaware, I probably wouldn't think it was four and a half percent. Um, I think that's a pretty, pretty sneaky lower alcohol version of, of a bigger beer. It's, um, yeah, it's coming out quite well. It's, for me, it's quite fruity, tropical. Um, Ella, that's a hop, really showed up quite differently. Before we dry hopped it, it was really floral and spicy, it was really lovely. And, uh, I, think, I think perhaps I'll um, break a few hearts and, and do a, another version of this without the dry hop instead of doing something to see a different recipe next. Uh, because I think that's the fascinating part about hop use. You know, once you've got that data point which you can see that sensory, and you know how it's made, what's stopping us making one that's slightly different and um, showing a really different place in that hop. The bitterness is quite firm. Um, made from CO2 resin from a generic hop base so that, so that we deliberately take out that variable of what hop is providing bitterness. So I always use this uh, CO2 extract from a generic base uh, going forward so that we can take all that out when we do like for like recipes with slight changes to one variable. So if you drop the dry hop out of this, you'll know that it's fitted with the same, uh, same range of uh, As long as it's nice, have a couple of points which I'm currently in the process of doing. Um, I'll probably have you So yeah, I look forward to getting the next one out. I look forward to um, having a conversation with, um, with, the, with the punters and home brewers and all those kind of guys out there who are, uh, who are interested in, in what I'm trying to show. You know, I love having a conversation with our beer. I look forward to it. So I look forward to bringing out the next uh, beer and hopefully we can keep keep these couple of units in the uh, in the conversation and uh, they make a bit more sense to my whole not just in my head. Cheers. Well, it's a nice sunny afternoon on the deck back here at Beer Hill HQ and I just uh, thought I'd say a few words to close off the day. I um, just want to say thanks very much to Owen for providing us with some great insights into the beer and what he's trying to achieve with his, with his new plan at the Hop Trial Brewing Company. And uh, thanks to Ben from The Whaler for hosting us today. It was, was a fantastic afternoon. Um, no need for me to really review the beer because Owen said it all, I think. So all I'd like to say is that I thought the beer was fantastic and I was really surprised at the amount of flavour that he's packed into a 4.6% beer. I don't want to call it a session pale or anything like that because um, I don't think that's what he's aiming for but it just was really flavoursome and kind of reminded me of some of the things I like about something like the Founders All Day IPA. So a beer that does have to be 5 or 6% to still have a great, great flavour profile and so I really enjoyed that so I think this beer will go well. Really looking forward to tasting Owen's next beer whenever that may come. It shouldn't be too far away. I don't expect and um, you know once again if you uh, like what I'm doing here please check out my social media pages uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube or, or do whatever share it all that sort of thing because uh, I really appreciate your support and your feedback so this time from Beer Hill HQ cheers to great beers